started so uh, get the timer started and we'll give you the time and date stamp it is nine hours yeah that's it nine hours into the day of Thursday March 13th 2014 and we're beginning the BTS vlog for the 13th 14th and possibly 15th that's right Thursday Friday and Saturday and then uh, after that, we'll do the weekend vlog. So, <laughs> uh, the last vlog uh, from uh, Monday to Wednesday was a bit of a failure. Uh, I thought I had gotten things right in terms of the number of segments, but I miscalculated because there was a whole bunch of different segments. I tried. To, I was trying to shorten the segments. The shorten the. Uh, I'm trying to shorten things up a little bit by doing uh, two-minute sub-segments, but that didn't really work out, and uh, so we're back to the uh, eight-minute seg eight-minute segment. So I think this is sort of uh, the seven-minute, seven-eight-minute segment is the better format. I, I'm going to try to do more. Let's see. I will see how I can fit in. You know, uh, going to other different areas of the uh, facility, so we can film maybe in the machine shop, we can film maybe on the electronics bench. Uh, it really depends on the amount of content that's there. It, it, that's sort of what determines everything. And um, yesterday, as I went food shopping yesterday, but uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to bring the camera with me because it was, uh, I went during a blizzard. There was a blizzard out. <laughs> yes, a, yeah, winter has returned. It was, it was actually, it wasn't that cold. There was just a blizzard, and then after the blizzard came, that's what usually happens. Is after the blizzard leaves, uh, the cold comes, and so it's dipped back down below zero again. And we're having that freezing fun once again. So <laughs> it's kind of the way the winter's been going this year. This year, uh, I know why it's doing that, but uh, I'll leave that for the or vlog. I think the, that's what we're working on today. Is that I said that yesterday. Working on uh, Beauty and the Geek and uh, Insta vlogs, but uh, try once again today. Uh, yesterday I ended up doing laundry. I had to do laundry yesterday, so that took a bit of time. Um, I had some other issues on the network to sort of resolve, and now that all the network issues are kind of resolved, the next step will be to uh, start working on bringing. Uh, the production schedules for both the new shows and the uh, uh, shows that are in season zero uh, back online again, get them back into a sort of a working order and sort of, you know, <laughs> deal with the normal schedule. In other words, when tangents sort of pop into your schedule and they knock the schedule off, sometimes they can knock the schedule off for a couple of days. And when, the next, when they, that happens, you really have to struggle to get your schedule back into a normal routine again uh, and that's kind of what's happening here is that we got knocked off schedule on Monday uh, and now uh, we're trying to, uh, trying to work our way back onto schedule again uh, <laughs> for by the end of the week and get enough of the work done but with it was Thursday today it's the beginning of the day uh, let's see if I can do at least a, at least a 12 hour day if not more uh, if I do 12 hours, it's from 9 to 9, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's 12 hour, that's a 12 hour work day. And if I can stretch it to 11, that's a 14 hour work day. And I think we should be able to get a fair chunk of work done 
in that time. So uh, that's where we're heading now. And now it's sort of time for breakfast. Alright, so I will see you a bit after breakfast. I'll vlog a little bit more after breakfast and then uh, we'll go from here. Alright, take it easy. Well, this is going to be an end of the day video. It was supposed to be done a lot earlier, but one of those things popped up again. Uh, as I said, the day, you never know what the day is going to bring. And initially when, when, when problems pop up, uh, problems are not fun. And your initial response is, I don't want to do this. But if you persevere through it, and particularly the first few bits of it, which are rather difficult and disappointing, uh, you find a surprise at the end. So let me give you the time and date stamp. This is 22 hours and 14 minutes into the day of Thursday, March 13, 2014. Yeah. Oh. The end of the week is almost upon us. And it's been a really, really rough day. Uh, I'm just going to do this sort of quick vlog. This click, click, quick ending vlog here. Have a bowl of cereal and then go to bed. It's, I'm just completely wiped out. Uh, I was going to do uh, some uh, a video from uh, my desktop. But it turns out that there was... When, when you upgraded from... Uh, uh, Kubuntu... From Ubuntu... 13.4 to 13.10 that there's a problem with the way they compiled FFmpeg. Uh, apparently, about a year ago, there was a split between two different groups in FFmpeg. And that's... Uh, FFmpeg is key to doing recording desktops on your... and doing a lot of video work on your uh, Linux machine. If that goes down, then you're kind of stuck. Well, what happened is that there, that one group split into two groups. And one of the groups ended up on the Ubuntu side of things and kind of tried to lock out uh, the original FFmpeg group. But what happened, this is, this is sort of what happens with Unity 2. The new group, while they're, it's, it's so keen at locking out the uh, FFmpeg group, uh, the original FFmpeg, FFmpeg group, uh, didn't completely finish their work. So in other words, you have all this, all this, uh, 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 all this software, all this applications that depend on the original FFmpeg, but the new FFmpeg can't do the work. It, it can't handle all the, all the work that, that needs to be done. So you end up with a machine that's kind of half, half, I guess called half-baked, and I noticed this problem was sort of popping up even with Caden and Lion. This is why I was sort of holding back, particularly on my editing bay, uh, from, from upgrading to 13.10, uh, to, uh, because I knew about this problem. So it turned out that this problem was more significant, particularly on this machine here that I was going to do some filming on. Uh, and I decided as I went through to look, try to assess what the problem is, that this is the point in time where I need to sort of make the move and start moving into the developer community and what I did is I actually got, got the instructions and I compiled my own new version of the FFmpeg the original, from the original group uh, and moved off of the Ubuntu's typical FFmpeg onto the new uh, original FFmpeg so the, it's, I think it's uh, 2.14 is the one that I have right now that's the version number and it worked out pretty well. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, there are some problems. There are some 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 uh, issues there, but it's overall pretty good. But I think and I think that what's what's going to happen now. And this is why I've started writing the no notes up for it. Uh, I'm going to uh, get into development through here. This is my entrance into development. So this is the point I'm getting into uh, Linux development. Is is that the FF FFmpeg project? And the goal is to keep open desktop, to keep FFmpeg and all these different uh, options open. So, you know, the Ubuntu stays open. I don't see there's a reason to go out and, and create a whole new Ubuntu. It just seems you need to have packagers and, and, and developers who are willing to be open with it and, and, and provide extra, op, op, extra options as compared to what the current trend is going on. And that's kind of the way I'm going to approach things. Stay open, keep keep Linux the way it should be. Anyways, I said I'm 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 knocked out. I'm going to go to bed in a few minutes. 
So I will see you tomorrow morning. All right, take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. That's right. It's time to start another day. And that means uh, another segment of the BTS vlog. I was able to do two sub segments yesterday. I split yesterday's uh, uh, BTS vlog into two four minute subsections. So that formed one segment, and this is going to form, possibly form another segment. Or a sub segment, it depends on how much time we actually have to talk about. Um, because we do have a fair bit to talk about. Uh, let me give you the time and date stamp. It's 8 hours and 13 minutes into the day of Friday, March 14th. 2014. Uh, everything's ready to go up for, for the, the last vlog from the, uh, uh, I think it's the 11th to the, or, or the 10th to the 12th, or the 10th to the 13th, I'm not really too sure what it was. Um, the, but anyways, the last video's vlog is ready to go up, but I ran into a problem yesterday, and I was going to do a screencast after lunch, as you know, uh, after, after breakfast. Uh, so I sat down, uh, prepared to do some uh, do a screencast. I had upgraded the reason why I, this, and this is the reason why I had up, upgraded the computer because uh, there are reports out there that if you upgrade the computer, you can uh, do a better job with FFmpeg. The FFmpeg on uh, thirteen four had a particular problem, so I upgraded the thirteen ten. But as I, I was kind of leery about this, so I haven't, uh, I haven't upgraded everything to thirteen ten, uh, because uh, one of the video uh, uh, systems I use called uh, that works off of FFmpeg is Caden Live, and what had happened is that uh, Caden Live doesn't support thirteen ten. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I realized after doing some reading. Uh, that there was a split in the FFF, FFmpeg group. And FFmpeg uh, is the group that does a lot of the video work for uh, for, for, um, for Linux. Most of your video work is done off of there. And if you're on Android, you, Android or even on uh, iOS, and if you're doing video on iOS and you're doing video on Android, more often than not, more likely than not, you're using FFM, FFmpeg. That's the product you're using. But there was a split in the community, because these are all volunteers doing the work. And uh, one group ended up being supported by Ubuntu. And Ubuntu trying to sort of push off the original, um, uh, the FFmpeg group by putting a warning into the uh, FFmpeg that, that, that the FFmpeg is going to be depreciated and removed from the package. But this isn't true. But what they ended up doing is they ended up creating a security hole in there. That produced, uh, that caused FFmpeg to go into a, uh, a disk leap, an, an endless disk leap, and that endless disk leap or or, or zombieing the uh, other thing allows other hackers to get into the system. So, in other words, the package, the new packages that are coming out of uh, out of uh, Ubuntu for FFmpeg, and they're call they're calling themselves Library AV uh, AV Scan, something like that. Anyways. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it's just like Unity. Unity's, uh, Unity, anything that, that Ubuntu is, and, and this is what happens. A lot of times when you think you're good at something and you try to spin off and try to create your own thing, more often than not, the, the, your attitude is, is actually larger than what your capacities are. And both Unity and now this new FFmpeg, which are, are, are now uh, branded uh, as a Ubuntu Debian uh, um, in their origins, uh, are a bunch of crap. They don't work. So you're stuck now with a fight uh, between the original FFmpeg group and the new FFmpeg, FF, FFmpeg group. And so uh, I had to sit down and sort of figure out my way around it. So I uh, uh, and I decided that I was going to stick with the original. And uh, because this is the way you, uh, the Linux community is, is that no one's gonna gonna be out there doing that stuff for you. At some point in time, if you really do like you Linux, that you're gonna have to get up and get involved. And I had been planning to do that for a while, but sort of looking for my way in, seeing, you sort of perusing around, seeing 
what direction I'll go in, and I realized that, that the uh, the best direction to go in right now is to go with FFmpeg. That's my entry level into developing uh, Linux, and so that's what I've decided to do. And you'll see this over the next few weeks or so that I will be getting in and starting to, to develop uh, uh, FFmpeg. And the first step in is to do something known as package management, and that's what I'll be doing: package management and trying to stress test and figure out where all the bugs are in FFmpeg. That's the two entry points. Uh, but it, when I first started it yesterday, I started it after after, uh, after breakfast. I started running into these problems. And your initial reflection as, as you start getting into these problems is like, you know, you're lost. You don't know where to go. Because there's so much information sort of uh, to look through. And this is what happens is I spent uh, most of the day yesterday looking through all this information, trying to figure my way around. I did uh, halfway through uh, when I was able to compile the new FFmpeg from the original group on my own. I, I was able to upgrade the version, but there's still bugs in, the, in this problem. I don't know whether it's my problem, whether I'm coding FFmpeg wrong for screen grabs, or uh, to do screen capture to do a, uh, record my screen. Or there's something wrong with the code itself. Uh, so now I have to go through and do a debug. But the thing is, is that uh, the initial information that I was looking through, it was enormous. There was an enormous amount of information there. And in the beginning, as I said uh, with, before with my notes, it's all ad hoc in the beginning. It's all random in the beginning. You're just sort of pulling information here and there. It's not until much later on that you have enough information that you can start going through and organizing things. And that's what had happened near the end of the afternoon. The afternoon I started uh, realizing I had a lot of information here that I had needed to organize it. So I started to organize it. Once I started organizing it, I started organizing it, the, the cloud of confusion started to clear. And I was able to see a path through. So this is the, it, it, the that I talk about, the perseverance through failure. Initially, most people, when they when they run into these problems, will uh, forget it and they walk away. But that's not the good thing to do. That's not the right thing to do. The right thing to do is, uh, if you do have a problem, persevere through. Uh, try to get to some sort of solution with it. And then, you know, at some point in time, you'll succeed from it. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I will talk to you after breakfast. I'll probably do a... Uh, uh, around 10, 11 o'clock. I'll come back and give you a bit of an update from the research desk as to what's going on and where things are heading for today. Anyways, that's it for now. I will talk to you later. <laughs>
rarely do things go as intended. And this is kind of... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, yesterday was kind of an unusual day. Uh, I did get a lot of work done. I was able to do a lot more uh, production notes on uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix Atal. I was able to do uh, a, a fair chunk of work on uh, Beauty and the Geek in terms of the production notes. Um, I'm now uh, reorganizing my, my uh, production notes because I organized reorganized the notes for uh, Instavlogs. So, things are starting to shape up on the shows that are in Season 0. Uh, I know we are behind. We're still working on, I'm still working on some issues on the editing bay, particularly with the, uh, the program called Caden Live. This, it, it, it's, it's a complex issue, but it did, it did uh, produce some good results. Uh, basically, it's a program that's based on this one program called FFmpeg. And that program... The people who maintain it is, is it open source is all volunteers, and if the uh, group that sort of makes it and <laughs> you know the community that makes it has a fight and splits up, then you know, things are left in pieces, and that's kind of what's happened is that you've got two different groups fighting over uh, the FFmpeg project, and it's not going too well, so, but. Uh, I think there are ways around. I think there are solutions that can be done that make will make both sides happy. That you know that that you know, and this is the way Unix is. Linux is uh, not tied to one specific thing. So you can be either the old FFmpeg group and, and like that branch of FFmpeg, or you can choose a new one, or you can choose both. I mean, Linux allows you to, to really custom tailor how your user experience is so and then this this is what I like about Linux is that it is customizable you know you don't have to be one thing or another you can be uh, you know you, you can be both if you want or you, or you can be a mix and match between the two you know there is a number of different uh, configuration options available to you on Linux that you don't have anywhere else I mean this is why it's it, you know if, if you're a person who wants something more custom tailored then Linux is your choice uh, OS two, you know, not uh, OS X, that's Apple, and uh, and Windows. They're out of, out of the box solutions. The, the solutions come to, to you for come to you to you the way they are, and you really don't have the option to sort of really mix and match it. They tell you what you're going to have, so it's a, that's an out of the box solution. Yeah, it's easy. You don't have to do any mussing of, and, and fiddling around with things, but uh, you also are restricted to. Uh, uh, what you what you're given, even though you pay for it, you are restricted to what you're given, and that's it. Uh, in Linux, it's wide open. You custom tailor it to what you want it to do, and this is kind of what I like about Linux. And and, and for myself, uh, I know we've been on the list on on, on uh, the Ubuntu for for uh, for uh, uh, what you call it for uh, Google Plus. They have community groups on on Google Plus, and I was on the. Uh, Ubuntu forum and a lot of people talking about uh, uh, doing dual boot. I don't have a need for dual boot anymore. I've I've given up on uh, on uh, Windows a long time ago, and I've found solutions to almost everything. I said, you know, people said you couldn't do video production on Linux. Here you are. Here's video production on Linux. People said you can't do music on Linux. Well, the Music Studio is music on Linux. Uh, so <laughs> you know that. The, the, there, there's always a solution to things, even even though people may say, "Oh, you can't do this." If you really want to say, just sit down and do something, you sit down and you do it. And so this is sort of providing you with an option to sort of get involved more in the community. And, uh, and what I decided to do, uh, rather than create my own, and this is what happens: Ubuntu does something that's not so good, and someone gets mad and hops, hops off and says, "I'm going to create my own Ubuntu." I mean, that's what happened with Mint. That's what happened with uh, 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 Puppy Linux. Uh, there's a number of them that, that sort of split off of, uh, uh, of Ubuntu and sort of created their own small version of Ubuntu. But if you're really going to be paying attention to the open desktop and open the open environment and open source, then there's no need to create your own version of things. What you should do is get involved and... Reopen up the options again. That's this is where my head. My intention is not to, to rebuild Ubuntu. My intention is to open up Ubuntu the way it was before and provide these open options. You know, if someone wants to have the new FFmpeg, fine. 
If someone wants the old to have the new old deck pick, fine. It, 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 if you want, if you want uh, Unity on your desktop, great. If you want no on your desktop, great. If you want Katie on your desktop, great. It, you can choose and mix and match and whatever you want to do with things. This is the whole goal of Linux. This is whole the whole goal of being uh, open source, of open desktop, uh, open systems. Uh, this is what it's all about. It's about being able to customize and choose what you want. It's not about being boxed into a particular category or, 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 or whatever. And so this is kind of the way I go, you know, I don't intend to go with one, one group or another. I tend to sort of sort of sit around and, you know, uh, work with what I have type of thing. And I don't really feel the need to be uh, on one side or the other. Anyways, I think that's about it for now. I will come back uh, a little later on, hopefully, and do some more, uh, do, well, I think, yes, one more segment, and that will be finish up the uh, Saturday, uh, the BTS vlog for Saturday. Well, if hopefully, for this, for this segment, this BTS vlog. I like the hiccups. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you in the next segment. <laughs> Well, it's time to uh, get the uh, the last uh, segment of the BTS vlog from March 13th to the 15th done. Oh, yeah. Let me get a time and date stamp. <laughs> then I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, it's 20 hours and 34 minutes into the day of Saturday, March 15th, 2014. And we're barely surviving. <laughs> Uh, what's happening is that uh, I'm doing the final uh, DNS configuration work for the project on the bench. Uh, I should have that finished by Monday. And that means the system will move off the bench and uh, onto its server position. And then uh, the server configuration from there begins, on, you know, it starts back there where the, ser where the servers go. Uh, I should do some more filming in the machine shop as of Monday. Uh, I'll have more machine shop sort of fixed up and finished so and in a better filming condition. Uh, as for the electronics bench, I'll bring the next project on to the electronics bench uh, sometime uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. And... Uh, then go from there basically I've got some new ideas uh, for the the uh, music studio I'll see how they work out and try a few of them over the weekend and if it works out all right then uh, uh, I'll film it and put it into uh, into the uh, BTS vlog uh, but uh, I'm in one of those days where I started getting very tired around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so I went to bed. But I couldn't stay sleeping for more than uh, 45, minutes to 45 minutes to an hour. So I got up for about a half hour, then got tired again, went back to bed. So I'm in this, I'm in this something known as an oscillating mode. The oscillating mode is where you're too tired to stay up. But when you go to bed, you're not tired enough to sleep for long for a long period of time. So that's what the oscillation is: is you're awake for a bit, then you sleep for a bit. You're awake for a bit, and you're asleep for a bit. Uh, that's kind of the mode that I'm in right now. And it's sort of it's the end of the week. I'm, I am working on the uh, the the uh, DNS configuration here. What else you do? The DNS configuration is a uh, number of uh, text files that, that that tell the DNS what to do. And to repair my servers, because I haven't done the work on the servers for a long time, there's a lot of work to do. And it's, 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 it's mostly cut and paste. But there's a lot to do there. And it takes a couple of days of sitting there cutting, pasting, cutting, pasting, cutting, pasting. And it is, it, it, it is in some ways mind numbing because it's not, uh, how should I put this? It's not, uh, not exciting. <laughs> it's, it's sort of routine and, and it's repetitive. 
But the work has to be done, and you have to pay attention to the detail because if you miss out a comma, if you miss something out, it causes errors and mistakes in the DNS. And and for those of you who don't know what a DNS is, a DNS is is the system that if you type in a name for a uh, for a place you want to go on the internet, you want to go to say YouTube.com. Well, DNS is what determines what is you what what is YouTube.com and where is it? Where is it on the internet? The DNS is basically your, your, your map and traffic control for the internet. So if you're on the internet and you want to go to different places, well, the DNS does all that. And if there's a mistake in the DNS, it ends up sending you to the wrong place or it sends you to uh, an area when what you get is an area message, uh, page not found, site not found, uh, stuff like that. And that's sort of uh, uh, what happens. It, Ooh. If there are errors in DNS, so yeah, and that's it. I'm still working on. This is going to be part of the work to get into uh, to get into Linux development, to get into uh, the development for Linux. And as I said, I'm, I'm going to be starting off at the FFmpeg uh, area. That's where my chosen point is, because uh, I seem to be around that area more, and I've also successfully. Uh, compile the program from, from what I was re received. I was able to go through it step by step. And everything compiles fine. There was no issue. So, uh, that's my next step. Doing the, uh, uh, sort of, well, uh, package, ma package manager. Package, package maintenance. And then from package, uh, in addition to package maintenance, uh, from there, look at doing, uh, bug review. Looking at, uh, bugs and quality control issues. And then trying to develop workarounds for them. So, this is where things are going to go with uh, the software development. Uh, once this software development is necessary for a lot of the equipment that I run here, as I said, uh, I don't have any new equipment here for computers. Everything is everything is used. So, as my network needs to be upgraded, as it needs more capacity, uh, I depend on a lot of this open source, this sort of freeware. Uh, for the research that I do here. And it's all well and good to simply take the stuff, but at some point in time, one, you do have to give back, and then two, if you want to keep pushing the envelope of what you're doing here on this used equipment, then you need to get into the you need to get into the nitty gritty, you need to get into the details so that you can adjust and tweak the programs in the manner that you need to, to do so so that things work properly here. And this is what I'm saying is that you know, the average view is that you can't do any video production on, on Linux. You can't do music production on Linux. You can't do a lot of things on Linux because it doesn't come to you out of the box. But if you're willing to sit down uh, as whatever you are, a scientist or whatever you are, and learn the systems, then you can start bringing your lab work, a lot of your research work, onto this you know, Linux system. And it does work. It does get the job done. And I know this because I've been doing this now for more than six years. I've been working, you know, pushing my research forward for more than six years on Linux. And it does a great job. So, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's music, whether it's uh, video, or whatever you want to do. Linux does work, but you do have to, to learn the underneath. You do have to learn that there's various different bits and pieces in order to get things working properly. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. I might be back later on to start the first segment of the next BTS vlog. I don't know. It really depends on how I feel. Uh, and depends on what content I have, if I've got any content. Alrighty, good night. See you a few hours tomorrow. Don't know. <laughs> Alright.
and professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.